right? So this will be come my T1, right? T2, T3, T4, and from here you see, right? The opposite happens, right? So you see that T1 is smaller than what? T4. It's opposite from what? Down milling. Okay? Right? So this angle, again, this angle over here, from here to here, right? This angle from here to here, right? Is also known as our two engagement angle, right? So the chips were four in front. Okay, the, so the chips can be taken on the next cut with their tool. Okay, so this can scoop it. Okay, and then you will hit it, and then, oops, Daisy, you are in trouble now. So you can see, right? You can see how to do down milling and up milling is entirely dependent on the position of the what of the tool relative to the workpiece. So this is what we call cutter path. Okay, so I'll I'll write a bit more. I don't think we need this. You guys have done this. So, so during, I'm going to, during two and what piece? Engagement. Okay, doing two and workpiece engagement. The workpiece speed direction. Okay, the workpiece speed direction is opposite to the two or to the two rotation. Right. So what what we mean over here, right? So we know that the two rotation is this direction. The workpiece is coming what, coming down. That's why we call it opposite direction. Okay. So chips were four in front of the cutter. Okay, and which is bad. Why? Because the the insert might carry the what? Might carry the chip. The insert might carry the chip. Okay, and when that happens, right, that is really really bad news. Okay, so material. So to con conclude from here, so material not conclude yet, but material with high strain hardening right high strain hardening uh sensitive and you can i hope you all from my explanation can see now that down milling or climb milling should be used Okay, should be used. Okay, this will lower the stresses acting on the two, right? Because when you hit to the heart region, right, you have heat when you do down milling. So, in order to cut in up or down milling, As you can see down here, in order to cut in down um, up milling, the cutter path must be 
it just did. Okay, the cutter power must be adjusted. I'm going to show you how we're going to adjust this. Okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to adjust this. Yeah, very quickly, I'm going to show you how. Give me a minute. I'm going to find my marker, okay? My marker seems to go missing. And I think oh, I have found it. Right. Okay. So how do we adjust the cutter pump? So the orientation is still going to be the same. We're going to look at our plan view. So now this is our X, right? And this is our our Z. Yeah. So I'm going to draw our workpiece. Okay, so this is our workpiece. Okay. So we are we are viewing from from the plan view. Okay. So our tool starts from here. Rotation in is in this direction, right? It's rotating that way. So when we start cutting, okay. So when 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 the two move, me okay. Reach out there, no more material, right? So the pass down there I've drawn is it up or down milling? Anyone? Up milling. Yeah, it is up milling. Why? Because the okay. me 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 me. So this is how. Then when the two ends down here, it will it will come down here now. So the next the the two will move here. Bzzz, right. So the rotation of the two did not change. Right. Then it go me. Then it stop cutting. Any idea? I'm about down milling. Down milling? Down milling. So planning a cutter buff like this is known as the zig. Yeah. How to zig zag cutter buff. It's one of the most popular cutter path because you don't waste time okay both direction you cut me me so it's only good for low b and n okay low b and n you can me 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 all you want it's fine but if you if you have high b and n right if, if your if your b and n are high you cannot just me 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 any way you want you have to be careful okay what do I mean? That you have to be careful. So now this is our workpiece. Okay, this is our workpiece. So you can only me in one direction. Okay, do you all want to join me? Okay, <laughs> you can unmute and join me. Okay, if you want. Right? Are you ready? Okay. So the feed direction will do this. Three, two, one, go. There you go, then stop. No, no, stop, stop, stop. No more, no more. Okay. Right? So this is down milling. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Then after that, right? The tool is moving in air. Okay, so this is air motion. Pew! 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 So this is air cut motion. Air cut motion means it is it is cutting on air, right? Then after that, after it has uh, cut air motion, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. B. <laughs> okay, there you go. So these are all what? Down milling. Now, okay. The software will not know what what piece material you are cutting. 
it will not have the knowledge of B and N. Who has that? You. A gadget from McMaster University will have this knowledge. You will say, hey, no doubt I know I'm going to cut air, but because of high B and N, it is going to work. I want you all to be very decisive with this, okay? Because I have enough earning this from my consulting, planning cutter path, okay? Those of you who are planning cutter path, who, who can program cutter path, your salary will be easy, $120,000 a year, easily, okay? Because it is a lot of work to plan what? Cutter path, and then you have to check, you have to what? Troubleshoot, okay? It's software related to hardware, okay? So there you go, cutter path planning, okay? You make the decision, okay? High B and N, low B and N. Okay, so you, you can use low B and N on this. It will also work. Okay, it does not matter. Right. Okay, so the next one. We are going to look at uh, strain rate sensitivity. Okay. So this one, I think... The strain rate sensitivity, we did talk about it before. I think you all have a good feel about it. Okay, so it's just a recap. Okay. So the equation, if you are to recall, is 1 plus by C natural epsilon dot epsilon dot reference. Okay. All right, and close bracket over here. Okay, you can barely see a close break. So I'm going to draw a table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have vaguely seen this table before. So it's material. Okay, so we are going to look at uh, aluminum alloys. Okay, you are going to look at hardened steel. Forty-five Rockwell C scale. Then we have nickel base, super alloy. Okay, very difficult to machine. Usually used in aerospace material. Okay. Then, so why is our material? So this is our cutting speed. Okay, this is cutting speed. So this is uh, 0, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, okay, 100, 500, 600, 700. And this is in meters per minute. Okay. So if, if it's nickel-based alloy, you can only do about 30 to 60, okay? Why is that, all right? Why is that? Because the C value, you're going down this way, okay? The C value increases, okay? Means more sensitive to strain rate. Okay. It's more sensitive to strain rate. And then in the hardened steel, we are looking at about 150 to 300. Now we can go slightly faster. Okay, so 150 to 300, right? And then for aluminum alloy, okay, you can, yeah, my board is not big enough, okay? You, you can do 600 to infinity, okay? Whatever you want, okay? Keep on, keep on going, keep on going. Okay, so the strain rate, I'm going to write this out, the strain rate sensitivity Okay, the strain rate sensitivity will affect the range 
of cutting speed. Okay, will affect the range, right? So high strain rate material or high strain rate sensitive material, okay, uh, will tend to have a uh, uh, narrow operating bandwidth for the cutting speed. Right? So what do I mean bandwidth? Okay, so from here to here, this is what we call the bandwidth. Okay. This is what we call our bandwidth. And then the last term, so you, you can see, right? If it's very strain rate sensitive, right? Your bandwidth is very narrow. It's very difficult to do uh, optimization, right? And we did talk about this, right? If, if, if it's so narrow, you need to produce more. You need to go for what? Outsourcing, remember, right? You have to outsource or you have to buy more machine or you buy more machine and outsource at the same time because to buy a machine, you take three years to arrive. It's not like going... It's not like going to a dealership to get a Toyota Corolla. Okay, it's not the same. Okay. And then the last thing that we're going to look at before we go to break is thermal softening index. Again, we have done this briefly before. Okay, thermal softening Okay, so this is your one minus by theta minus theta ambient over theta melt minus by theta ambient power of m okay so the thermal softening index okay so can determine okay the thermal softening index okay softening index m can be used okay can be used to determine okay if increasing the cutting speed you mean temperature increasing the cutting speed up oh. and also increase right we, how do you increase the, the temperature is to increase the cutting speed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So increase the temperature, right? Will benefit in reducing the stresses acting on the two okay or external heat source is required okay so example laser assisted machining Okay, you use a, a, a laser to fire a head of the tool and you start machining. Okay, so that's what the strain rate sensitivity can do for you. Okay, as I said, the most interesting part is the strain hardening index. Okay, the strain hardening index. Okay, so for example, if M, right, is less than one, so now if you machine at 150 meters per minute, right? And you're not getting very, your, your two is breaking. Okay, so two is breaking. Right? So by looking at M is less than one, you push it to 200. Okay, tool is okay. Okay, because temperature, so this is theta 150, the temperature at theta 150. Temperature at 200, the temperature at, at 200 is greater than 150, 
right? So the material will lose its strength, and you can you can you can you can start machining. But if M, right, is less than uh is greater than one, right? This will not work at all. Right? When you increase, yeah, you do increase the temperature, but it's not losing its strength. Okay? Right. So I'm I'm going to stop recording for a bit. And I'm going to talk about